Hello and welcome to the third playthrough of the Tonic Trouble Special Edition by uh, the Tonic Trouble. Uh, you could also call me Steve if you like. Um, we have only only have ten minutes, so we'll just go ahead and get this started. To twenty hundred, no twenty thousand. My bad. Uh, we will skip the intro because I can upload that on its own. Now, uh, by the time I actually upload this, there will already have been made two Let's Plays of this, and it's starting to seem a little bit pointless, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, so, let's see, what reasons do you have to watch this particular one? Alright, uh, I'm not going to rush it. Uh, the whole screen is showing. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I feel kind of evil for saying that. Uh, I will put links to the other Let's Plays on the sidebar, though. Uh, they're they're good ones, and I, I I'm friends with. Uh, uh, isn't it Agent Seventy Four? I think I got that right. <laughs> I I forget the numbers. I'm sorry. I I struggle with numbers. Um, also in the sidebar, you'll find a link to an uh, a uh, upload of this whole CD, uh, like a mount file, which you can download and uh, install the game yourself. Just um, install it under Windows uh, 98 compatibility and administrator, and then run the game in Windows 2000 compatibility and uh, administrator. Uh, try saying that five times fast. Um, the, I had a saving glitch when I ran it under 98, the actual game. So when I switched to 2000, it worked. Um, I know I'm rushing this level now, but that's because we're gonna come back later and like do it more thoroughly. There's a much more fun, w um, fun way to. <laughs> that's never happened before. That was kind of cool. Um, there's a much more fun way to uh, go down that slope. Let's see. Um, and also you're gonna come back here later to get all the silver spades, which are the ones you can see in the top right there. Uh, collecting ten of those will give you one extra health slot. Uh, I got six at the moment, which you see on the left. Um, and, uh, there might not be necessary, but I'm gonna, I am gonna collect those for 100%. Uh, right now there isn't much to do in this level except just, you know, kind of look at it. Uh, later you, you'll be able to open that wooden door over there and get up there to the house and all sorts of stuff but for now we go to the hub world just a sec, I'm gonna turn up the music here because I kinda like the music I'll for the most part shut up you can't get to the major part of the hub world just yet. Uh, in the background you see the reverse pyramids. And this thing. Which actually can't harm you if you stand in its way. But I'm not going to do that because I need my health. Uh, like in the retail version you gotta free this guy. And I always as a kid I tried to... Get... Hang on it works. Just a sec. There. I always try to get in. It would have been fun to actually be able to go in there. And I'm kind of wasting your time. I'm sorry. I'm going to go in. I'll, I'll hurry up. I'm not going to collect that spade. Because I want to kind of go through all the spades in this hub world all together. To collect them. Like in one video. So that I can easily show you where they all are. I might also skip out on collecting any of the spades here. Because this is also another level where you have to come back later to get all of them. You're going to get half of them. Uh, having the powers you have now, which is nothing. And uh, I want to take a moment to make this kind of epic. Ed doesn't seem to mind. I don't know, I always liked that piece of music, and I wish it would sort of start building up while you were inside the cave. It would have, uh, 
a lot more epic. It's like uh, the climax of it, you know, when it sort of just as you came out of the cave. Oh shit! I, I don't have wings. I forgot. Oh, I tried using the wings, but they're not there yet. And yeah, my uh, dad's uh, computer crashed this game. Yes, I'm playing this on my dad's computer, which is, uh, well, he has some of his stuff on it, some sort of security stuff that he uses when he's doing work. Um, and it tends to come with some pop-ups, which fuck up this game, because you can, like, minimize this game and have it running while Windows is open, you know. If you put this down or minimize it or anything, it's fucked. Um, so, uh, I'm back. After a bit of an er interruption. Oh yeah, I gotta hurry up. I only got four minutes, I forgot. Um, yeah, this, the game does this sometimes. When it's loading new areas, it does freeze up for a second. Sometimes the sound cuts out for a few seconds. I like this room, it's kind of... If I had to, like, uh, live in this cave or, like, survive here for several days, this is probably the room I'd stay in. And, uh, this cave is actually quite, um, you know, this is, this is a popcorn room. This is where I'd get my food. Uh, if I need more heat, I'll just move down the cave. If I need to exercise, well, we'll get to that. And there's also a small place for me to swim. Which we'll also get to. Alright, now uh, I fixed the popcorn machine, which provides popcorn to the world. Or at least this country, wherever it is. Um, even though I see absolutely no cables, the, it does provide popcorn to every one of these machines. And these vary uh, over the different versions of the game. In the retail version, there was uh, Crunch. I was like, I saw a picture of the retail version, I saw the crunch thing, I was like, what the fuck? Um, and in the N64 version, it's like this... It looks like a poor man's sort of popcorn machine. I have to collect these spades, you can't you can't really avoid them. Oh wait, I can, I can jump, but oh well. They're so balantly obvious, I mean, you're gonna, you, you know where they are. They're no, they're no trick to find. Um... What was I saying uh, before I started on the silver spades thing? Uh, uh, I totally forgot my train of thought. Uh, I guess it wasn't that important. Uh, here's one of the most annoying parts of this level, but you can kind of skip it by uh, doing this. You have to be careful not to overshot it though, because or else you won't grab on. Uh, save some time if you do it this way. And here comes a really easy rock puzzle. You can just walk on the left and kill mostly anyway. Click like that. Usually staying to the left will do it. Uh, there's a spade down here, which maybe not everybody knows about. Shit! Oh well, I'll respawn up there. That's good. That's what the save glitch was. Every time I died, I respond to the beginning of the level, like no matter what, even though I'd gotten a checkpoint. And uh, that's part of the reason why this Let's Play has been so delayed. Also, the fact that these video files take up loads of space on my computer. I just can't get fraps to record low quality video, so I had to like down downsize it later. Um, which gets kind of annoying. It's ended up filling up my heart, dad's hard drive, usually. And uh, this this computer sometimes uh, gets blue screen after playing after long periods of time. And I'm almost out of time. I just if I just can make it over there, I got like 20 seconds to just get. All right, um, that's the end of part one. Uh, I'll see you around.